I don't always shoot 22 long rifle, but when I do, I only shoot the best. Stay shooting, my friends. Hey guys, have you ever shot a 22 long rifle and felt pure happiness go through your soul? Go ahead, hit that like and subscribe button for me. Thanks. Hey guys, I'm Nico Detour, and today we're going to talk about getting you the best ammo for your 22 long rifle. In front of you, I got my competition 22 long rifle, known as the 22 of Death. It's a 1416 barreled action from Kelby's Rifles. It's done up in their stock. It has a short action precision magazine holder inside. It's got a wicked sky pod up front. I'm going to show you guys about that in a later video. And we have a good old trusty US Optics ER25 on top. We have our Hammer Mill Pro Pistol of Death. That thing's bad to the bone, guys. Competition grade, it solid shooter. So, moving on. I want to tell you guys about the story about my 22 long rifle here. When the NRL 22 series first came about, I was like, dude, this is awesome. We're gonna start shooting 22 matches, just like the PRS and other NRL series. But for 22, everybody loves 22. You and I both shot 22 since we were kids. We love them. So, getting a little bit more serious, I invested in a Kelby's 1416 22 of Death. Right? And we got the rifle, we got the scope, we got all set up, and then I realized I needed to find the best ammo because shooting just random bulk ammo, you'd be on target, you get a flyer, you're on target, you get a flyer, flyer. Nobody likes that because we want to hit where we're putting our crosshair, especially with a 22 this badass. So I proceeded to take my credit card, like most of us have done, and buy, I don't know, maybe. $150, $200 worth of 22 long rifle ammunition. We, from everything from Ely, Center X, Federal, Prime ammunition. It's all great ammunition, but what we were trying to do is find the best one for my specific rifle. And for this rifle, it just didn't like a lot of things. It liked some things better, but it wasn't quite what we were looking for. Like everyone sees on the internet, we like those bug hole groups, right? We all see it on my Instagram. And that's what we're looking for. But I wasn't quite getting it. I was getting pretty close with the Ely and some of the Prime and the Center X, but it wasn't what it should have been. You know, what the Instagram tells you it should be. So I started looking around the interwebs and I got more Prime ammunition tests. And for my specific rifle, it just didn't like it. I shoot Prime ammunition out of pretty much everything I have. My 223, my 65 Creedmoor, my 308, and it's lights out for me. It works phenomenal. I compete with it. I've, it's never let me down and I've done very well with it. But for this 22, it just, it didn't like it. Just how it goes. 22s are pretty finicky, guys. I don't, most of you have figured that out by now. But, so Prime just didn't, wasn't a, it for my rifle. So I moved on, tried a bunch of different brands, like we talked about. We didn't get quite where we wanted. So I started looking around the interweb and found some guys that went to uh, the Lupua testing facility in Mesa, Arizona. And I found that they take your rifle for 50 bucks. You can send it to them. You can stop by on a Friday on your way to go shoot the Arizona long range precision match on a Saturday. Friday appointment, you go in, get your rifle tested. They put an aluminum block. They torque it down. They shoot on a 100 yard tunnel, 100 meter tunnel. And they give you digital readouts of your 50 meter and your 100 meter display. So they start off, they shoot maybe 10, no, it was like about 20 rounds to warm up your barrel. All you 22 long rifle guys know what I'm talking about. They warm up your barrel, get it going, and then they go through 10 rounds of everything they have in stock of their 22 long rifle. So they're not gonna find the holy grail of ammunition in their tester ammo for you if they don't have it in a minimum of 5,000 round quantity to sell to you. So you go through, you shoot 10 rounds of maybe 30 something different lots, of Center X, Midas Plus, and whatever they had in stock. And you go through, process elimination. All right, these were the top five. We do a shoot off for that. All right, 30 round groups with those. Okay, final two. Came down for me, it was this specific lot of Center X and a specific lot of Midas Plus. My credit card was definitely rooting for the Center X. As we all know, Midas Plus is a bit more, but it didn't matter. I was there to get the best ammo at that time. So the shoot off, 40 rounds each and the Center X was a clear and decisive winner that day. Midas Plus, we all know, is a brand, and it's technically a step above Center X, right? Just like some of these brands out here you see. It's, oh, this is a great brand, but doesn't mean that specific lot of that brand will shoot good in your rifle. So, the specific lot of Center X was lights out compared to 
the best center X or uh, best uh, minus plus they had in stock. During that shootout, center X won. I bought 5,000 rounds of it, so I have it. My rifle's dialed in. I don't have to worry about it. I know that's the best ammo my rifle likes to shoot. Simple as that. Ely, I believe, has a facility too. Uh, I watched my buddy uh, Jim over at 22 Long Rifle Marksman. Great guy, huge in the 22s. Go check out his video. He goes to the Ely facility in Texas and gives you guys a real feel on what goes on, how the whole process works of getting your rifle custom tailored to your rifle setup. So, $50 for the Lapua testing facility, or I believe it's the same or maybe even free for Ely. Or you could spend $150 to $200 on a bunch of random ammo that is a maybe if it actually shoots well. Or maybe it's okay, maybe it's good enough for you, but what will the next lot be? Because when you go find one perfect lot of ammo, one perfect box of Federal or Prime, and then you go buy another box online and buy 5,000 rounds of it, if it's not the same lot, it's going to shoot different than that perfect Holy Grail box you had the range the day before. It's just how it goes with these 22s, guys. And with that, that's all we really got for you guys today. So, it's a simple choice. Either spend $200, $150 on your ammo for a maybe, $50 on a permanent scientific study of what ammo works proper for your rifle or pistol. That's all there is to it, guys. You want to be Olympic quality or you want to just keep dumping money for a maybe. As always, guys, I'm Nico Detour. Stay safe out there. If you can't be safe, be deadly.